To convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, we use the following equation. And notice how there are two forms to this equation. We have C equals 5 ninths times the quantity F minus 32, which is also equal to 5 times the quantity F minus 32 divided by 9. So to convert 50 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, we'll replace F with 50 to determine C. So we'll have C equals 5 ninths times the quantity 50 minus 32. Well, 50 minus 32 is equal to 18, so we'd have 5 ninths times 18. I'll put 18 over 1. And this simplifies nicely. There's one factor of 9 here and two factors of 9 here. So we have 5 times 2, which is equal to 10 degrees Celsius. Let's take a look at a second example. To convert 81 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, we'll now replace F with 81. So we'll have C equals 5 ninths times 81 minus 32. Well, 81 minus 32 is equal to 49. So we'd have 5 ninths times 49 over 1. Unfortunately, nothing simplifies here. 5 times 49 would be 245 divided by 9. So now we'll divide 245 by 9. There are two nines in 24, would be six. And there are seven nines in 65. So if we stopped here, this would be equal to 27 and two ninths degrees. But you normally don't see temperature expressed as a mixed number. So let's convert this to a decimal. We'll put our decimal point here, move it up into our quotient, and then we can add zeros to the right of the decimal point. So we put a zero here and we bring it down. There are two nines in 20. It'll be 18, subtract. Notice how we get another two. Add another zero, bring it down. And there's two nines in 20 again. So what we're gonna notice here is that this, this two repeats. So we could say this is equal to 27.2 with a bar over it to show it's repeating. So on this type of problem, it's important that we read the directions carefully. It may say around to the nearest degree or nearest tenth of a degree. Let's go ahead and round this to the nearest tenth. So this is approximately 27.2 degrees Celsius. I hope you found these examples helpful.